Hi everybody, Phil Morgan here, uh, General Manager of Missouri Meersham Corn Cob Pipes. Uh, I just want to do a short video, uh, kind of ramble on a bit probably, and then uh, just uh, go over what uh, actually uh, the, the parts of a corn cob uh, that you need to take into consideration when making a corn cob pipe. Uh, I just got back from Columbus, Ohio this weekend. We were at a pipe show there, had an uh, absolutely great time. Love to go to the pipe shows and meet everybody, uh, all the enthusiasts and the uh, 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 collectors. It's, it's great fun. Uh, and I'd hoped to, to uh, make a video from the show, but just uh, wasn't able to. We were that busy, which is a good thing. Uh, and I know uh, I, I wanted to make a video kind of as part of uh, Scott from Aristocob from his Cobb Foolery uh, contest, which is, uh, is I think, going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really interesting. Uh, but, uh, and I've seen some of the videos. I saw the uh, Joe Case's videos, uh, Sparky Pipes videos. You know, these guys are true artisan pipe makers. And uh, I don't even pretend to be that. I'm just the general manager of a corn cob pipe company, which is a lot of fun in itself. Uh, it doesn't necessarily lend itself to a lot of artistry. But one thing you do learn as manager of the corn cob pipe company is uh, what's important uh, on a corn cob. And uh, I, I wanted to show you this is the, a section of a cob that. Uh, after we've uh, cut the cob at a gang saw and drilled the tobacco hole, you can really see the important parts of it from, uh, from the concept of making a corn cob pipe. You know, as most of you know, the, the, uh, the, the very middle of the corn cob is the pith. That's the soft part. And that's the part, as you can see, gets drilled out whenever we make the tobacco hole. Uh, and the, the next part of the cob around the pith is called the woody ring and that part, that's the critical part and that can literally be as hard as wood and that's what you hope to expose whenever you drill out the tobacco hole and the next part of the cob is the outside after the grain has come off and that's called the chaff and which you can see is just a, looks just like a corn cob without grain on it and that's the part that you shape, you know, to, to actually shape the, the cob or to shape the pipe bolt. But one thing this chaff can do, and I think in Sparky's uh, video you saw it, whenever you drill into this, this is kind of soft and, and porous, and it can sometimes, you, when you drill it, it can kind of grab the drill bit uh, and can turn it. We, we experienced that problem here at the plant. But just wanted to point that out to you, to anybody who's still working on, uh, you know, making their uh, pipes, just to point that, uh, that part out to you, or that point out to you. So, again, just wanted to make a short video. Uh, I don't know that this is going to help anybody. Probably most of you have already worked on it. Uh, but just wanted to point that out to you and let you know that I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of the entrance uh, 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 you know, for the Cobb Foolery contest. I, I think it's a great contest, and I really appreciate the fact that Scott uh, uh, initiated it. So, uh, good luck to everybody, and uh, hopefully, do, be doing some more videos for you. Thanks.